I can see you kissing yourself in the reflection. Oh. Is, it, is it cute? Is it, oh, is, oh. It's good, huh? Welcome back to another featured garage vlog. Today we are going to go to Disco's house and work on the green car. Woo, skirt! Skirt! Skirt in my Pirellis! I don't have Pirellis. That's not what's on this bike. But that's what rappers talk about in rap songs. Skirting on Pirellis. So it's always the brand they talk about. What about Bridgestone? What about other Bridgestone? Not speed. Oh shit, I am. No, I'm not speeding. Definitely not speeding. Not speeding. There we go. So, for some of you that are new to this channel, um, you might not know what this is. It's a motorcycle! Whee! Motorcycle! Oh shit. It's a, uh, this is a 1972 Honda CB500. I got it from a couple in Alabama who, I guess, I, I guess they were trying to build a cool project bike and uh, either ran out of motivation or money or something, I don't know. So I picked it up, it was a non-running bike, it didn't even roll, and uh, over the course of a few months, I got it running, I got it rolling, did a whole bunch of stuff to it, made it stop leaking, got it running mucho better, and uh, then started upgrading things on it. And this is my, this is my daily ride, drive car. This is my daily, this is my, I ride this every day. I go to work, I go to the grocery store, I, everything. You ever do cocaine? You ever try it? Me neither. Oh shit, dude, my signal's been on forever. Oh god, ah oh, man, today's just been a really, I've been inconsiderate. I gotta turn the signal off. Okay. Hi. Hello. How are you? This is a. Uh, this is pretty extreme. What's that? This is pretty extreme. The uh. This is like. What you're. This. Yeah. I don't clean cars like this. Oh. Yeah, I don't think most people do, but you know, the first go round I did a lot, and I didn't do some. Uh huh. Now I'm gonna do the some and leave the a lot. Uh huh. Does that make any sense? No, okay. What is the green car? Uh, the green car is the first CRX that I ever owned. Uh, bought it about nine years ago for drag car. And uh, for <laughs> nine years ago for drag car. For drag car. For drag car. Uh, okay. I had in mind that I wanted a lighter drag car. I was drag racing the Acura Integra back in the day. And uh, I just wanted to go a little faster, and I always liked CRXs since since I was in third grade when the first time I ever saw one, I had a teacher that had one. Anyways, I bought it from down the end of a red clay dirt road back here in Florida, and it was just horrible, covered in clay and really bad. It was a white car. And uh, my wife was eight months pregnant, and I said, pull, pull the engine out. So she pulled the engine out pregnant while I was pulling the engine out of my Integra, and literally as she pulled it out, I cleaned it, painted the engine bay, and dropped everything from my Integra into this car, which at the time was a turbocharged um, LSV Tech engine, 1.8 liter. It was fun, it was great, it was faster because it was lighter, and uh, that's, that's where it came from. I fell in love with the green color, uh, and the wife really liked it, so we picked the color, and uh, it's a Honda color, it's Honda Green Tea. It's on their CRV. A lot of people mistake it for the I think it's Lexus Desert Sage because everybody in the Honda community Ooh. does this Desert Sage color. Well, great. I wanted to stick with a Honda color. It's just like my Integra. It's not champ white. Everybody paints their cars champ white. Well, Honda has a brighter white color. I went with Honda's brighter color. Uh, what's it called? Grand Prix white. So I just like to stick with Honda colors on my cars. I raced it for years and did well with it. It was really fun. It was exactly what I needed at the time. It was cheap. It was 
relatively quick for the point in time that we were racing the car. It's not quick anymore, obviously. Um, well, so pers for perspective, what, what was quick? What did this car do? Uh, it ran low sevens in the um, eighth mile. Low sevens in the eighth mile back in the day was pretty fast. Uh, I think the Integra was running something like a 760 and I swapped everything into this car, didn't change anything about the tune and ran, I wanna say a 730 right out of the gate first day out. So you know, that's three tenths. If you know drag racing, you know three tenths is big. It was a free three tenths basically. I didn't have to do anything other than swap it into this car. It didn't cost me a dime really. I had everything laying around to do it. So, you know, low sevens, and my goal was always sixes. I never hit sixes, I never got that fast. I always said that I just didn't have the budget to do it. Um, nowadays, maybe I could. I think I have more know-how, that was almost 10 years ago. Um, and everybody around here was running low sevens. Nobody was in the sixes. So that was with your turbo LS. What about the, uh, the other engine? Which engine? The, oh, see I didn't know. Okay, <laughs> well let's, let's talk about the engine that's going in this car now. All right, the engine that's going in this car is a B20 VTEC that um, I, I gotta give Mike Amerson credit for because his shop, TDC Performance, is who kind of coined the build. They brought a car out that was just, it was every bit as fast as my turbo car and it was an all motor car and it was shocking and I blamed them, I, I accused them of having nitrous on the car. And uh, they said, no, there's no nitrous, it's just a good combination. Well, after talking to them at TDC, they kind of told me the combination of parts that they used. and I went with that and expanded on it a little bit. So the engine ended up being a two liter with a VTEC B16 head. The head's got some massaging and obviously some cams and springs and fancy doodads, but- uh, Massaging. It's somebody has ported it. Okay. I don't know who ported it. Yep, and decking. Yeah, lots of decking. Yep. When I built the engine, I built it for, for maximum compression. So I bought um, some custom, no, they weren't custom. These were off the shelf, like 14 and a half to one Wiseco pistons. It was the highest compression off the shelf thing you could get at the time. Um, and so I, I bought those pistons and then I bought flat face Ferrer valves and then I decked the, the block and Put the, put the head on and clayed it and measured all my tolerances, you know, engaged VTEC, measured how close the valve, the piston to valve clearance was over and over and over and over again. I must have had the, the head torqued down, of course using old Honda bolts and an old gasket, probably 15 times and it went back to the machine shop five times or so. So for someone that may be curious out there in internet lands, you know, oh, what compression ratio are you running? You don't know. No, and you know, there's probably smart people that know how to measure that. I'm not that smart. Um, it's, it's a lot, that's, what, that's the number. It's a lot. My boss is way better at the guesstimating than I am. <laughs> the suspension setup on this thing is unique. Um, because you fucked up. No. Oh. Okay, so they're KYB adjustable shocks, which is cool, whatever. And they're Accord, they're front Accord springs cut and put on the rear because they're made to hold a whole lot of weight. So that there's, there's a, they're really stiff. And the front is just some random spring I got out of a pile. Two springs, they're, they're blue or purple or something. And uh, KYB adjustable shocks and just some, some sleeve, there they are, some sleeve adjusters. Oh. Just some crap. Yeah, so they're definitely, the springs are definitely matched to the shocks. <laughs> nice. Yes, oh yeah. And look at the colors, look how nice that looks. Red shock with mm -hmm. a silver sleeve and a yeah. purple spring. Yeah, it's Oh, cool. it's so good. Fancy. Yeah. But it worked. I, I tried a few different spring setups and a few different things, and this was what worked easily without spending ridiculous amounts of money. I'm guessing that means 800 inch pounds. Really? I'm guessing. Okay. Right? Oh, well, I'm down. the number, it's upside down. Yeah, you have to so close. <laughs> I think that inch pounds would be there, which it's rust zero zero. Oh. And this one is also zero rust 
sponge for us. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, I'm gonna keep the shocks because I think they'll work great for road racing. Um, and I'm gonna uh, do something similar like what I do with that car. I bought Summit Springs to the, you know, the the stiffness that I wanted. I think that's got 400 and 450 on it. And I'll probably copy that identical, other than I'll use these KYBs instead of those Bills teams, because that car, it, it drove fantastic. And I'll just start there. Those Summit Springs are cheap. You get them for like $20 a piece on sale, and you know what the pound rating is. You know, a lot of springs that I've got. <laughs> eBay, 10K, yeah. 12K, well, yeah. uh, so are what's, you sure? So what's the, what's the, the rate on those springs? Um, Blue. Yes. That's really how we did it for what? What's the rate? It will lower your car by two inches. No, no, what's the rate? Yeah. Stance. Yeah. How does it ride? Stance. Like this. Mm hmm. You know, so, <laughs> so I'm going to do it uh, somewhat better this time around. Cool. So that's it for this one. Uh, stay tuned for more videos on the green car and potentially some other stuff that we are working on. Until next time. <sighs> Putting on the gloves. Mm, one finger at a time.